waiting patiently. Good morning, mate. How are you doing? Yeah, morning. I'm good. Excellent, excellent. Wonderful. Sorry about that. I think I opened uh, the room, the chat room and I think he opened the wrong one. And you were... <laughs> Janice is saying, right. he's waiting for you. I'm like, well, he's not there. He's not there. Where is he? Where is he? I was in the wrong room. It's in the wrong room. Uh, yeah, there we go. Does it say Christmas? It doesn't say Christmas, does it? On there? Anyway, someone's talking about Christmas stuff here. So this is... Um, Doug is introducing. So introduce yourself. Uh, I'm George. I'm from the Kent-based band, The King Rooks. Excellent. And we've got a track that we'll play at the end of the interview. Tell us a bit about the band then. Yeah, so we're um, we're all from Kent. Um, we're kind of like from two slightly different generations. So Jack and Matt are slightly older than me and Jacob. They both went to the same school together, uh, same as Jacob and I. Um, and then we all end up kind of working together. So that's kind of where the band formed. Um, we're all teachers. So um, we all worked at the same school and, and Matt's a private drum teacher sort of in schools and um, in studios and stuff like that. So yeah, we all kind of teach during the day and yeah, we were just kind of ticking along for ages trying to get this band together. And um, yeah, about 18 months ago, it finally clicked and yeah, we're doing all right. Excellent. Teachers, eh? Teachers in yeah. the music game. It's a bit like, uh, what's that film with the... Uh, well, anyway, anyway, I've lost it now. I've lost it now. Where he goes in and does all the music and everything. School of Rock. The School That's of Rock. Right. Is it a bit like that, is it, in the class? A lot of people think it is. It's not. <laughs> it would be nice if it was, but, yeah, not all the time. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. No, it's wonderful. No, it's good. So what do the kids think about you uh, being in a band? Or do you keep it quiet? No, you don't keep it quiet. Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, most of them know. Um, some just don't really care. They just don't pay, pay any interest to you. Um, some love it. Like, we have a lot of ex-students that have now left that are sort of, you know, late teens, early 20s that come along to gigs, you know, an ex-student of ours has just filmed our new music video, which is coming out tonight, the day before the EP, because he comes to some of our gigs. So, yeah, a lot of them are really invested, which is quite nice to see. Yeah, that's absolutely brilliant, because I was going to say to you, what what age group are you teaching? So um, We're all secondary school, uh, the ones that are based in schools, and then Matt teaches uh, a big range of sort of ages with his drums, some older and some quite young as well. So, yeah, but mainly all secondary school, so teenagers. God help you. I, I, yeah. I, 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 I like teaching people. My wife said if you was a, a secondary school teacher, you'd probably be in prison. And, yeah, she's probably right. She's probably right. I'd probably strangle one of them. Do you know what I mean? I don't know how, yeah. how you put up with them, to be fair. Or have you got, or do you, do you, do you, do you bring them into line? Uh, it's tough. It's tough. Teenagers are, are challenging, challenging people. But, um, yeah, we get by. <laughs> <laughs> I know they're our future as well they're our future but when they get over the twenty in after the 20s it's not so bad so that's really interesting that a group of teachers formed van so have you done any uh are you planning to do any you know you're doing the gigs are you doing touring round or do you tend to stay pretty local yeah I mean at the moment it's it's kind of stayed pretty local again where we're all teachers it's it's sometimes hard to do those uh, midweek gigs up and down the country because you've got to shoot back the same night and go back and teach in the morning so yeah we're kind of taking it quite steady at the moment uh, local and then sort of slowly branching out but when we kind of get a bit of time off which is I guess is a bonus of being in the profession you get a lot more time off than other people um, we'll certainly be trying to get sort of longer runs of shows put together and maybe jump on some tours with some other people and stuff like that. Excellent. Well, you can always use a six weeks uh, summer break to go touring, yeah. couldn't you? Have a six week tour. Lovely. That would be great. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Because Eddie normally says, uh, he's the question, he's our, he's our Xmas gonk. If you had a tour van, what kind of tour van? Do you have a tour van or do you all go in separate cars? Are you, no. are you all in Priuses yeah. where you've been teachers, all that environmentally friendly and everything? No, not yet. <laughs> we'll be forced to soon, eventually, but um, no, no tour van yet. It's on the cards. It's been discussed. That would be a, a nice addition. It would certainly make things easier. Yeah, it would. It would. So what do your colleagues all think about your being uh, in a band? Yeah, again, like some some don't really pay too much interest to it. They're kind of like, yeah, like you do things outside of school. Some of them love it. Again, some of them, you know, when they're free at weekends and stuff like that, come along um so yeah it's really nice to see actually you do get quite a nice support group of just like close people that really come and uh give it their all when they come to gigs as well oh i've got a question here for you from manta ray and they're they're awesome and we'll ask you to do something in a bit what they've done he says yeah. is the band name anything to do with chess 
Um, I mean, it was kind of a little bit, yeah. We were kind of trying to figure out a definitive name around the COVID period. Um, and a lot of us had kind of just been battering some names around and Jacob, our singer, is a bit of a bird watcher, quite an avid bird watcher in some of his spare time, when he gets spare time now being a teacher. Um, and the Queen's Exciting Gambit life was on... Exciting life, but go on. Yeah, the Queen's Gambit was on Netflix, the, the Netflix series that come out. Um, and we were just battering names around. And I think Jack threw it out, the King Rooks, who were kind of like, it's quite good because it people do question it all the time. And they're like, is it bird themed? Is it chess themed? Um and yeah, we were we were quite happy with it. It was one of the ones that kind of once it was said, it kind of just stuck. Yeah, so we it's ran with that one. Yeah, I like it, I like it, and the track's good. We've got it lined up. We'll have that at the end of the show. Before I forget, because I'm I'm like this, we've been That's asking fun. bands. We ask bands to do uh, jingles uh, for us for the show. So what what yep. tends to happen is we get some stuff. St- it could be anything. It could be... What's, what's good, Dougie Stone Radio? Join the Mercy and Army, man. Come there and have a listen. So, if you can say, this is the King's Rook, and you're listening to Dougie Stone Radio... Rook, sorry. You're looking to yeah. listen to... We'll, we'll turn it into a jingle for the station. Got it. This is the King Rooks, and you're listening to Dougie Stone Radio. Oh, man. Perfect. Perfect. Because you could actually cock it up, and they'll be, they're on there now, and they'll be they'll be expecting this. But this is how, <laughs> this is how not to do a freaking jingle. Have a listen to oh, this. Oh, we're man, you're listening to <laughs> Dougie Stone Radio. That's fine. That'll, that'll, that'll do. No, it's not fine. It's not fine. And, and I've learned from it what it is. I, 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 the, the lads, I play it virtually every show. When you ask more than one person to it, they've not rehearsed it. It all yeah. goes awry, and it's uh, it's good. So, have you got any pre-gig pre-gig rituals? Do you know what I mean? Do you, do you have like a certain thing to eat, or just drink something, or or do you know what I mean? Do you, I don't know. Run around the block three times. It could be anything, couldn't you? What, what, is there any pre-gig rituals that you all do as a band? I wouldn't say rituals that we all kind of do as a band. I mean, everyone kind of probably does their own thing. And sometimes people do certain warm-ups. I think most of the time it's a bit of an unspoken thing with us. I'm sure all of us have a bit of a set routine that you just do or just set up stuff in a certain order or whatever. Um, I quite like at least a drink before we go on or taking one on. Just it helps a bit. <laughs> um, and even just stupid things like just getting a dry I'm not even a singer but getting a dry throat while you're playing is just irritating and it just yeah so it's nice to have a drink quite close but yeah nothing sort of set in stone that we do every single night I mean that might change eventually in the future who knows excellent so we're going to be playing the track in a minute in a, in a bit um what's the track about what's the what's the theme behind it the story uh Jack wrote it so Jack Ollie guitarist and um backing vocalist um it's about him meeting his current wife so uh, it's about them meeting in a club um and she kind of came over to him and the first thing she said to him was um if you don't like the smiths we can't be friends and luckily jack likes the smiths so they were chatting all night um had a few drinks and stuff like that jack texted her the next day and she kind of didn't text back as quick as he was hoping so then you go through that stage of like you've met someone you try and make contact again have they ghosted you so it's, it's, yeah, it's about that. It's about like meeting someone for the first time, kind of falling for them, and then that kind of grey area of is it going somewhere, is it not? So, yeah, that's kind of it in a nutshell. Excellent. We've all been there, haven't we? Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, can you add the socials of the band? Okay. Oh, we've got a new we've got a new viewer on Mixcloud. So oh, if you're watching this on YouTube, people, it makes no, makes no, no sense. Uh, he said, can you add the Sturb socials for the band? So there you go. Yeah. So we're going to add Lovely. them in. So where, where can people find you? Where's the best place to find you? Uh, we're on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Um, and we should have our, our link tree link in most of our bios. So you'll be able to find kind of everything in there or various streaming platforms from that link tree as well. Link tree, very popular. Yeah, everyone's on that in a minute, aren't they? People go, what, what's <laughs> that? What's that link tree? Get try it, people. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm just wondering if, uh, because if they could go and find you on, uh, are you on, you're on, are you on uh, the old, um, I'm just looking now, are you on Spotify? Yeah, we're on Spotify. Um, you can buy our stuff through Bandcamp. We're on SoundCloud if you prefer that. Try and get everywhere as sort of as many places as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what you need to do, because this is what we, we do a lot of bands, we have a war on bio, and I'm just looking at your bio I'm now. Seeing, it's yeah. great. Go down to the bottom. There's no links to your social media on your Spotify, sir. So. 
interesting and that will that will mess you up the, go go and check that out sort it out no. and we normally look at uh i'm not going to embarrass with yours but we normally look at that well hang on lele records this is theirs uh this is war on bios this is about up in the bow game this is what we do so this is the um the King Rooks, and it says, from Folkestone, Kent, the King Rooks are com a combination of big riffs, catchy melodies, and choruses, all combining to create a sta stadium sound. You know, they're breaking themselves up here. The stadium sized <laughs> rock for fans of indie, post punk, and alternative rock. I like it. I like it. But we do that. We try to up people's battle games. But yes. definitely get your social media links on your Spotify. Spotify and it's a message absolutely. for all other bands on there. If you've not gotten there, we're all lazy. We can't be bothered to go <laughs> and find you. Make sure you've got your social media links on all platforms. So there you go. Got it. Get it on. Get it on. Sorry about that. It's not teaching you now, you see. Lecturing you. There you go. Lecturing you. Lecturing you. <laughs> no, it really, it really nice. frustrates us because I'm sat here as a presenter and I go looking for a band and go, where's the so no socials? And I'm doing a show yeah. and I'm like, oh, well, whatever. I'll move on. So, and that's what a lot of people do. Yeah, no, it's so, so what's the aim going forward? Do you, do you want to throw your, you know, do you want to get rid of your your cardigans with your things on with your beach features and that <laughs> geography teacher, mean, isn't it? You want, is that the, is that the ultimate aim but we won't tell we won't tell the education system the headmaster or anything like that pretty yeah. much yeah yeah of course ultimate aim is it would be amazing to be able to sort of make a living off what we do as a band um i'm pretty sure we're all keen on it and trying to make it work so yeah we'll just see where it goes Excellent. fingers crossed Excellent. Well, what we're going to do now, we're going to we're going to play your track. We're going to let you get on with your. Are you working today? You should be working, shouldn't you? you uh, I don't teach in the morning, so luckily my head teacher is very flexible and uh, he's very supportive of the oh band. My God. So, um, I know what a guy. So yeah, he's letting me take uh, take the hour off this morning, and I'll literally be jumping in the car straight away and driving straight to work. Well, you better give him so. a shout out. What's his name? Uh, Lee Kane, he's a bit of a ledge, so he's really supportive. So. Headmaster would have known not that Lee Kane, he was destined, wasn't it? I've had a Kane a few times. Anyway, Lee Kane, Lee Kane, you're a hero, my friend. You're a Thank hero you. for supporting your teachers. That's the best way. What a great leader. Loving it. I'm glad he asked that question. Lee <laughs> Kane, that's great. Right, uh, we're going we're gonna to let you get on with your day. Go on, educate Lovely. the kids, get them in line. <laughs> Um, uh, and it's a shame corporal punishment has been abolished as I'll see your life would be a lot easier but who am I do you know what I mean you can't do it anymore can you anyway it's been wonderful to chat with you uh, thank you very much please let us know what you're doing if there's any updates or whatever we, it's not a one hit wonder if there's anything going on contact Janice we'll get you on again and we'll have a chat with you and, and uh, big up to the band as well Give yeah my that'd be respect. great so cheers we, thank you mate thanks very much so wasn't that great we've got this from the band He's dug into Tommy Duff in part 35. We sound good. Cheers, man. You don't bear. 
Wow, we love that. Uh, someone said they sound like the Cortinas. Yeah, really great band. Uh, someone's, what's that? Manta Ray, nice one. Oh, yeah, we go, 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 go. So it sounds a bit like the Cortinas. We saw them last week. Liking this, producer hat on, lots of breath noise on the vocals. Wow, 